The nation's prescription opioid crisis is one of the worst problems facing society today. According to the CDC, about 115 Americans die every day from an opioid overdose. It is hitting especially hard in smaller communities. Crime 2's Rose Belt sat down with a nationally renowned expert to talk about those statistics and what patients should know. In the 1990s, doctors were worried about undertreating patients. Now they're struggling to help patients that are addicted to their pain medications. The, the problem is pain is very, very complicated. It's individually experienced, and it's experienced across multiple dimensions. And patients cope with pain differently. Even though recent CDC reports show that prescriptions for opioid painkillers has dropped, the amount of Americans getting addicted to opioids is still too high, and doctors are worried about the future. I fear, uh, and many of our patients fear, uh, and I'm sure many of your audience fear that it's going to swing so far to the opposite end that uh, not only will opioids not be available, but that uh, physicians won't even be willing to take care of pain at all, which would be a terrible result of the history of good pain care that we know how to deliver. So doctors are switching gears and exploring a range of alternative therapies, including mindfulness-based stress reduction like yoga and acupuncture, and focusing on regular exercise, careful diet, quality sleep, therapies that are non-drug-based and not linked to overdose. Their goal is to teach people how to live and work through the pain. But to be empowered to live with it and have a successful life. Uh, without uh, the pain being the most important thing. Dr. Talman is calling this the next generation medicine. Even though this approach is new to the pain world, doctors have seen positive results and will continue to dedicate time and research. The prescription opioid epidemic didn't happen overnight, and Dr. Talman says it won't be solved that way. Rose Belts, Creme 2 News. By the way, Dr. Talbin will be continuing this conversation along with other experts from the University of Washington School of Medicine and Gonzaga University at the Next Generation Free Lecture Series, 6.30 Thursday evening at the Davenport Hotel. Certainly an interesting topic. Yeah, a lot of interest in that. We need some answers. Mm -hmm.